So T-Mobile Home Internet has been around for a while now. I myself, I had the service for over a year, decided to get rid of it. Uh, and if you guys want to see the full reason, I'll go ahead and link that video in the description. But this service has become really popular, price is competitive, and for the most part, it does offer decent speed. However, T-Mobile just ran into a snag where they sent out a firmware that bricked over 30,000 home internet modems. So we're going to jump into the details. In the comments, let me know if this affected you. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell let's go so like I said I had the service for a couple years I, I had the older Nokia modem and then I switched over to the Arcadian and then they did release the new modem which is uh, the source of the problem the new modem that was meant for some of those underserved areas so reference to the article from Timo report I'll go ahead and link it in the description Drop your thoughts and your experiences with T-Mobile Home Internet in the comments section below. Title of this one is Bad Firmware Update Bricks Over 30,000 T-Mobile Home Internet Modems. So the ever famous home internet service offered by T-Mobile hit a bit of a snag this week. Apparently a firmware update for the newest consumer model of the gateway which is the SACOM Fast 5688W has caused about 24% of units to lose all communication with network. So when I had T-Mobile Home Internet, I had the Arcadian uh, KVD21, and I know that a lot of the functions were limited and forever T-Mobile uh, was promising that they're gonna push a firmware that opened some of these settings and kept promising and it just never happened. And just looking back, maybe this is one of those reasons why they kind of held off on forcing those firmwares. So according to sources and confirmed via the internet memo shown below, the MR3 update of the device with version number 1.274 has caused approximately 34,000 units to essentially brick themselves. The units are unable to connect to the internet and representatives are therefore unable to push any fixes to the unit. So it looks like basically this becomes a paperweight and there's nothing they can do remotely. A hard reset is not going to do it. So look like you have to send that old unit back in and they'll send you a replacement. So here's a quick look at the just the information. Um, you can see the notification was sent to all markets. T-Mobile high speed internet update outage, a recent milestone and it shows the time Dallas and Bellevue defective devices have been delivered to SACOM analysis is on the way and the next update will be available by 2.30 p.m. upon a significant change in status. 11.31 a.m. upon further analysis, it was confirmed that 141K devices received the firmware upgrade and 34 thousand SACOM HSI devices were impacted. 10.55 a.m. The defective HS1 devices has been delivered to Fort Worth, Texas. The devices team is en route to obtain the device and coordinate deliver to SACOM for additional analysis. 10.47 Teams duplicated the error with a test device by pushing a firmware update and power cycle the device during the upgrade process. Sagecom has been notified of steps to replicate the errors and perform all investigations. All right, so basically, paperweight can't do anything with it, and I feel bad for those T-Mobile customers that this is affecting. So as mentioned, T-Mobile quickly began an investigation into the issue and was in direct communication with Sagecom to figure out what was going on. Affected devices were sent to Sagecom, and steps to reproduce the issue were even found and submitted. The solution for effective customers is unfortunately a modem swap. So support has apparently been attempting to factory reset customer devices and when that fails, giving out the Acadian model as a replacement device. T-Mobile has since pulled the update, so no additional SACOM models will receive the buggy update. About 124,000 units received the update before it pulled. The firmware is still listed on the T-Mobile support page for the gateway. There's no word on when company will fix or roll out an updated firmware at this time. Internally, the update was apparently designated to fix rebooting issues affecting 10 to 20,000 users. The gateways were apparently rebooting themselves multiple times a day and the update was supposed to fix that. Uh, my experience with T-Mobile home internet, when that happens, usually there's an overheating issue and that was particular with the case of the Nokia devices. So customers that have received this update on their devices but are having no issues have nothing to worry about. The malfunction, if the device is affected, would be immediately noticeable. If your unit is affected, you can contact support to have your unit swap. So this is a, a bummer, like I said, for some people, uh, this is what they use for internet. If it's down, just the process of getting it swapped out and uh, shipped out or going to a local store, I don't believe they have too many 
in the local store. Just the process of shipping a new one, getting a new one, that's going to put you down at least a couple of days. So like I said, not all bad with T-Mobile Network. I have my experiences. I'll go ahead and link that video where you can check out the reasons why I got rid of T-Mobile. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.